We opened this morning talking about true artistry. Uh, Sam Bettinardi is the president of Bettinardi Golf. And for those of you that are familiar with it from, from years ago when his dad first came on the air with us, these putters, which are made and built and customized individually out of Metro Chicago, uh, Chicago land, to give it its proper uh, terminology, uh, are, have always been works of art, have always been something special. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to turn this down for just a second here so we can talk about these different models and you can actually see them in all their glory. Take a look at these. So Sam is joining us right now to talk about the product line and more and the philosophy of what they do, how they do it, and why. Sam, what's going on? Welcome. Hey, Matt. Thank you for having me on. Appreciate it. Absolute delight to have you on. Now, this particular model that I have, Innovia, is that how you say this model? That's the Innove, like innovation. Oh, Innove. Okay, tell us about this Innove model. I'm kind of holding it up to the camera as you're talking. Yeah, so the Innove is a, a putter that's made out of two pieces of metal. We call it bimetal construction. It's 6061 military grade aluminum in the rear, and then it's 303 stainless steel in the front piece. And the reason we do that is in the past, we've had the Innove line around for about six or seven years now. And we always had the aluminum in the front and the stainless in the rear. And a lot of tour players really wanted that feel of a 303 stainless piece. So we were able to reverse the construction of it and still have it be a, a high MOI putter. And MOI, for those that don't know, stands for a moment of inertia. So all the weight is in the rear of the putter which is great. And MOI is the club's resistance to tw uh, twisting or turning. So it's a very forgiving putter head. I'd recommend it to guys that are looking for more of a face balanced option on our spud neck. That Innovate six-year holding is also available in slant for those that have a little bit more arc in the stroke. Um, it's one on tour. So it's just a really great head for people looking for more of that stability um, and looking for very nice alignment cues. Yeah, I'm just holding this up to the camera as you're talking, Sam. I, don't, I suppose you can see it, and hopefully the audience can too. It's got a little bit of a toe hang right there. It's really a beautiful product. Now, I have this particular one. How many different models are available? This, Which model is this one? This is the Rev 6.0. How many different models are available? So in the 6.0, there's four SKUs. You're holding the slant neck mat, which, again, has about half toe hang. We have a spud neck, which is near face balance. There's a center shaft and then a lefty. Um, and then the putters that your viewers are looking at the right is our brand new Innovate 8.0. That's more your full body MOI style. Again, the very nice long alignment from front to back. Um, very, very stable putter. Our putters are actually launching this week into retail, so I can't wait to get some feedback. But Ooh. so far, the early success on tour uh, and the feedback we've gotten from our staff has been awesome. All right. So let's back up for a second, Sam. If you and I are end up sitting at a bar someplace next to each other in an airport, and I ask you what you do, and you say, oh, I'm the president of Bettinardi Putters, and I say, what's that? What's your answer? Yeah, that's a great question. I'd say Bettinardi Golf, you know, the cool part about what we do is we make everything in-house. You know, we have a state-of-the-art manufacturing facility here just outside Chicago, Illinois, in Tinley Park, where not only do we design our putters, but the steel comes in. We machine all the product in-house. We polish it, we paint it, we do everything right here, and there's no other golf company that can claim the same. So again, if we're sitting at the airport, I'd say we're a, a high-end boutique putter company, but we're not so boutique anymore. You know, we sell our product in 45 countries around the world. We have major distribution in the United States. We're in over 70 of the top 100 golf clubs. You know, we've had 96 wins since our founding on all worldwide tours since 1998. Um, and they're just making a lot of great strides. And that's my goal is to take the brand to the next level. All right. So I want to talk to you about milling for a second. We were featuring it in the video that you saw as you were discussing the, the definition of the company. Uh, how and why is milling so important to what you do? Yeah, milling so important in our industry is because a lot of times in the golf world, putters are cast where they pour the metal into a mold and the putter comes out right, where it may be inconsistent, there may be porous holes in there. And again, the viewers are watching our machines milling putters right there. That block of steel that's going in is about a six, seven pound block of steel. And that's going into the machine and what comes out is a beautiful putter. And it's not just, you know, snap, the putter comes out. It's a very long, arduous process. And I think what the Bettinardi difference is, is the quality and the inspection that goes into making every piece. And again, when my father started the company, uh, started milling putters for that matter in 1991, 
the whole golf industry was either casting them, they were forging them, or they were milling the body, and then they would mill the neck, and they would weld the two pieces together. What he did, which turned the industry upside down, was mill a putter out of one solid block of steel. That was a big game changer by efficiency sake, being able to get through production, and the quality was just unmatched. You know, we're talking about milling the putters to 500 thousandths of an inch. You know, you think of a human hair, the yeah. tolerances are even smaller than a human hair. So, you know, when you're buying a Betonardi, you're buying quality, you're buying the best, you're buying precise uh, precision. You know, and all of our putters are milled plus or minus uh, one gram of the target weight. So, you know, I'd be it'd be hard pressed to guess to find another company that's milling it to that tight of tolerances. And again, something that we're so proud of. All right, and I want to talk to you about those tolerances and precision and how that relates to a player really dialing in the putter that is perfect for them. But let's save that conversation for a second because I also received this sample. This is called from the BB series, and this is a very traditional looking putter, but I wonder if you could talk to us about its attributes, Sam. Yeah, the BB series, that's been around since 1999, so our company's coming up very shortly on its 25th anniversary. And the BB series is more of your timeless staple. So, you know, your BB1, your classic heel-toe weighted blade, the putter that you have, Matt, the BB1F, which is a, is about three-quarter toe hang. The BB8 wide is a fresh take on your, uh, you know, your boxier flat top line, heel-toe weighted blade. And the BB46 is more your traditional mallet, face balance mallet. And for the first time ever, we, we are making our BB series putters out of 303 stainless steel. They've always been soft carbon steel, um, and the new 303, it's a very durable steel. It's a very solid feeling. And we wanted to offer our consumers the same material or a blend of the material that all of our tour players are using, such as Matt Kuchar, Jason Kokrak, uh, Matthew Fitzpatrick, Patty Tavitanikit, who's defending her title this week at the Chevron Championship. They've all used double eight stainless steel or, again, a, a blend of 303 stainless steel. So by bringing that material to the masses, we felt that was important. If you look at the BB series this year, it has a beautiful new graphite grade PVD finish. Uh, just really, really stunning in person. And then that uh, that aggressive fly mill on the face. We've always had a, a honeycomb face, let's say 2014 prior, and then we've recently switched to a fly mill face. So now throughout the three families, or excuse me, four families of putter we have, we have three different options, a, a very soft, uh, a medium, and then a firm in layman's terms. So the BB series sits right in the middle of a, a nice middle ground of a firm, you know, muted crispy feel on that fly mill face. So uh, again, I think the BB series, there's something for everybody in there. And again, it's more traditionalist versus the Innovate series that you saw is more, again, your high MOI, um, you know, very, very stable, smooth swinging putters. These are more your classic veterinary looks that, you know, I guess most consumers have come to expect from our brand. All right, so Sam, just for the purpose of clarity, you're using the surgical grade stainless, uh, and you're noting that this is the preferred metal and feel for so many of the best players in the world that are that are playing your Betnardi uh, product. What is it about the, these putters that that 303 stainless you feel is better than the soft carbon? I think I think for the players, it's a it's all feel. Again, that's why we offer three different feels, Matt. You know, with our roll control face which has the grooves milled at a 45 degree angle to get the ball into a true roll faster. Yet it's very, very soft because we're cutting metal out of the putter. We have our fly mill face, which you see on our BB series. And then we have our micro honeycomb face on the Queen B. So all players, there's no one size fits all feel for players. That's why we have three different face millings. But on the 303 stainless, I just feel that, again, it's more of a durable, it's more of a solid feeling contact. And again, there are players that use soft carbon steel, um, but just for those guys, for whatever reason, they prefer the durability, the, again, the more solid sound of a 303 stainless putter. Um, I actually prefer carbon. I love that buttery soft feel off the face, but, you know, again, to each his own. Everybody has a different preference. That's why we give our players options. Yeah, it could also be an interaction between the softer cover ball that the best in the world are using and and players that want a lot of touch and feel around the greens in terms of how it comes off the face and, and the speed. Uh, they're absolutely beautiful. They've always been works of art from, from the earliest days that we've seen Bettinardi putters. And the way that your designs are evolving too, Sam, are, are particularly, uh, again, I'm going, going back to the original, are, are particularly impressive to me. 
Uh, now, I did want to get into, before we lose your company today, how people, two things, the most important thing I can ask you is how people can get in touch with you and the product and make sure that they get a Betonardi putter that is perfect for them. But to that latter point, how do we ensure that each golfer is playing a putter that's perfect for their particular stroke and dimensions? Absolutely. Um, so to your first part of your question, again, we're in major distribution around the United States, club champion, PGA Superstore, Golf Galaxy, all your local mom and pop retailers. Uh, a lot of the top 100 golf shops carry our product. And fitting is so important. You know, we just had George Gankis here yesterday, one of the top 10 coaches in the whole world, hmm. um, getting fit. And he's never been fit in his life, which was amazing to me. And again, he's one of the top coaches. And we actually did adjust his putter. He was a little bit too upright, so we had to go more flat. And we had to adjust his loft because the way his hands were. So it's so important. And we talked about this yesterday, too, the fact that a lot of players are chasing distance and they really want to go after the long ball, right? Chicks dig the long ball. But we all know money is made on the greens, right? It's your short game. It's your chipping. It's your putting. And most golfers are putting, you know, again, the tour players, maybe 25, 20, eight putts around the average amateur, maybe 30 to 40 putts around. So think about all those strokes and you're using a, a putter that is not fit for your game. It just doesn't make sense. And again, even some of the best players that have come in here that are getting fit in Studio B and Tinley Park on our V1 and Quintec putter fitting system, they're just totally blown away. And again, it's just an eye opener. We're not trying to change your stroke. We're not trying to manipulate where and how you put the golf ball. We're trying to change that putter to best fit your stroke. Um, and it's amazing the results people see. So again, it's not just coming to us. We would love for you to come to us in Studio B. We understand not everybody can make it to Chicago, but even just going to your local retailer, your local fitter, highly, highly recommended to getting dialed into that perfect putter for you. It's so important. Betonardi.com is where you can get more information on everything that Sam has been telling us about this morning, including their beautiful line of putters, which use a massive amount of technology and then bring that technology to form and how they mill and combine the metals together, the faces, the feel, and then the exact specs that you and your game needs. Uh, Sam, how excited are you about 2022? I'm pumped. I mean, it's just, it's been an awesome year so far. The, you know, the pre-orders we've gotten, you know, we shipped our product internationally. The buzz has never been higher. Uh, domestically, it's landing this week, so it's it's just so exciting for us. Uh, we've added new machinery. We've just bought two new CNC machine tools in the last month. We bought a new building in the last six months, so we're growing. It's hard to keep up, but it's a fun ride. You know, I'm working with my father, who started the company, and that's that's a pretty cool aspect of our business. Uh, we're 100% family owned, so just doing it more grassroots and having a great tour staff and great ambassadors representing our brand is is awesome. So we're having a lot of fun doing it. Yeah, it's very cool what you're doing, my friend. There's no doubt about that. We had a chance to see your dad a little bit in some of the cover video that we were using as well. Please uh, give him our best. We wish you guys the very, very best. Thank you so much for your time, Sam. Good luck. Awesome, Matt. Really appreciate it. Thank you.